Hello Libra and welcome to the May 2016 love reading. My name is Josie Kay and I'm here to hopefully clearly and definitely through these cards receive spiritual messages for you. Um, my, I'm slow because my mind is everywhere. If I was going to name this Libra, I would name this decisions, decisions, because there's some decisions going on and there's a lot of loving going on for Libra this month of May. Okay. Um, yeah, I tried to jump past a lot of these, which is like, oh my God, I've been working so hard. I've been working so hard because this is a love reading. All right. Um, we have right off the bat. In the gateway to the divine tarot, a an eight of swords, feeling trapped, tired of waiting with the magician upside down. I believe you may be with a, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but you have had people around you. I almost want to say because they're knights, they're rushing in. If they're rushing in, they're friends or else, something else, offering you, I want to say love with the king of cups, which, so we got knight of swords is air. That's an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, rising, sun sign, rising sign, sun sign, or moon sign. The king of coins is an earth sign, which is a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You may be trying to decide between them. Now, I can tell you right now, I kind of extended my way on down the line here with love with the sword sign, which is the air, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and it eventually ended up in the tower. People talking about you behind your back, and then apologies, and then love again, and da 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 Okay, and so also I see like you are wondering about all that you could have in your future and right now it seems like you're just so far down but you want to be the emperor and take control of your world. The time has come. You are now the star. Two of swords. Making a choice. Being an emperor. Taking a new path. Heading out into the world. And I asked for a couple cards from the Doreen Angels uh, deck to kind of clarify all of this. And you got the two of air. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, you are at a stalemate, pretending that there is no problem. Okay. Then you got the second card, Ten of Fire, Too Much Work, Except, da 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 da. Nine of Wands and Ten of Wands, like I said, cards like these were coming up and it was just a lot about work. Working hard. Okay, so putting work aside, I moved on to the Gilded Tarot deck. And the card representing your reading with that deck is a an Ace of Swords. A new path is having to be made, and I can tell you what. The first card in your reading was the Eight of Wands. Everything's moving real, real fast now. You can't sleep at night. All you're thinking about is taking that chariot trip out, and you are sitting on what could be a new path. It's the Fool card. Do, 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 do. Is it right or wrong? What is right or wrong? This person, hmm. I want to say it's a sword sign, but I won't. I don't, it just, you know what it is? It could be a habit, a routine you're in with men or women that you keep doing over and over again that you want to break. You're getting tired or, you know, you're partying too much. Okay. And then you're looking at a new path of money. And guess who's there to provide you with that? The King of Coins, Earth Sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay. Um, a little further down you got, there's going to be people kind of arguing with you about whatever decision you make with regard to your home as you're waiting for your ship to come in. Second time ship came in on a second wheel you got. Wow. Three of Wands and the Three of Wands. 
your ship is coming in. This one is like, okay, it's almost like, like the earth sign is waiting. This one's so much like brighter and beautiful and it's wondrous, whatever's coming. And yeah, you're going to have to walk away from people. It might be a little stabbing and painful because there is the Ace of Swords for the second time. And there are your emotions. But here's your new path. And again, we got a page of pentacles. So there is news about money coming. There are people not liking the situation. Is the money coming from the earth sign? Are you resurrecting something from the past? If you are with that sword sign again, not just because of this, because of this, because of other swords and being near the tower, you know, this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, like yourself or Gemini. Okay, if it's somebody else and it is extending down from the devil, you're resurrecting something that's just going to cause you pain anyway. And I want to say it's an air sign, but I won't. Somebody, something. Then I see this ship coming in with a happy home and a new path and a an earth sign. And sitting on the seven of cups, having all that you want on this new path and you finally taking there's news of the path there's news of the path and I see here you're worried about it you're worried about if it's good karma bad karma you're really in touch with yourself that's what you're doing right now is you're getting really in touch with yourself because something someone I believe is coming in your life you don't know if you're ready for it you're scared of it yeah you're scared of it but the world is in your hands you are capable you can make yourself appear capable Libra of opening your heart I'm not saying of work or anything When I ask the angel cards for a full out point of this reading, and I'm not done, but this is like the third wheel you've received, and the wheel says, a time of positive change, a situation suddenly moves, moves forward, like we talked about before. Fortune is on your side. Your ship is coming in. I quick did a rider wait. Right off the bat, we have this one. Now, I have seen a lot of wands. Let's see, where are all these wands? I know I have seen them, and I don't know if it's regards to the new path. But we have a page of wands, news of the path, and a queen of wands. For some of you, this may be a fire sign, Sag, Aries, or Leo, that you're wanting to take this path to. That's lovely. That is lovely. And for some of you, I'm going to, for those ones who are moving towards a fire sign, stay organized and logic, logical, structured and disciplined. Because the rest of the reading has an empress, which is you, news of money a brand new path with regards to money rushing forward soon maybe fighting against others for a position watch out how much you're now this is a work thing but if you're forcing anything at work there is this queen of air aquarius libra gemini or yourself that needs to put a stop with the arguing and needs to get more logical and structured get everything evened out there because you have other things you want the magic to get away from a situation you are in right now and you don't want to be deterred by work yeah and there's a king of swords again so i don't know if this king is coming back it could be king queen swords aquarius libra gemini that are causing issues the ones who are offering you 
in the direction of the Wheel of Fortune are Earth signs Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So I decided to read the wheel since it came up three times or four times out of four decks. It did. The angels sent you this card because of the positive changes occurring in your life. Expect and enjoy beautiful, beneficial new opportunities as they present themselves. This is an optimal time to make big and small changes. Take the leap with the knowledge that everything will work out for you. Old blocks are lifting and everything now moves forward quickly. Forward quickly. If recent events shook your faith, you'll now see that they were actually positive for you. Rapid advancement is likely now. Good luck. A happy accident, balanced karma, I think we talked about karma, a miracle, and a twist of fate or destiny. Archangel Michael is the supreme protecting angel who walks beside you and through changes, giving you courage, strength, and self-confidence. Call upon Michael whenever you'd like to uh, specific guidance about your next step, especially if it's connected to your life purpose or spiritual path. Wow, that's pretty darn accurate. I hope you got a lot from that, Libra. Um, and enjoy your May of 2016. I hope all your dreams come true. Oh, 